Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Monday, coming at you with Jaspie's 14 box quick hit baseball mixer. Featuring a case of hit parade, and that's 10 of the boxes. And we've got some 2021 Optic, Ginter Chrome, Chronicles, and Contenders, all 2021. Big thanks to this group here. Thanks to the people who bought spots straight up, and congrats again to the people who won their spots in those uh, filler breaks. All teams are in. Let's go. Let's roll it. Randomize names and teams. Six and a five. Eleven times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And eleven in final time. We've got Nick. Down to Jonathan. Six and a five, 11 times for the teams. One, two, three, ten, and eleventh and final time. We got KC down to Minnesota. Yes, Peter, I know. I kind of figured that out based on your last names. All right, Nick with the Royals, Frank with the Astros, Chad with the Tigers, Dennis with the Braves, Kevin with the Phillies, Peter with the Padres, um, Alan with the Rockies, Mark with the Nationals, Jeremy with the Brewers, Chris with the Cardinals, Chad with the Pirates, Barry with the Blue Jays, Jonathan with the Rays, Matt with the A's, Oliver with the Reds, Kevin with the Diamondbacks, Steve with the Mariners, Tim with the Rangers, Michael with the Red Sox, Brandon with the Marlins, Kevin with the Angels, Jonathan with the Giants, Mikey got my Dodgers, Kevin with the Yankees, Justin with the Cubs, Tim with the Mets, Anthony with the O's, Jaden with the White Sox, Leonard with the Cleveland Guardians, and Jonathan with the Minnesota Twins. Let's get all this on one screen. Let's sort by team name. And we're going to pause the video. I'm going to pause video. I'm going to set up the boxes on my desk. We're going to see if there's any trades. And when we come back, we'll have the break as well. Tigers and Pirates up for trade. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, folks. A couple deals were done. So Jonathan is out of the twin spot and is in the Mets spot now. And Tim now has the Twins. All right, now there's another deal done. Jonathan is out of the Rays spot and into the Red spot. We'll put a lowercase t there for trade. I'll put a lowercase t there. All right, trade window closed. Let's print. Let's rip. Oliver saying his buddy manages the Montgomery Biscuits, raised double A squad, but did not get to manage Wander. Wander. But I'm sure he's. What does he say? Is he? Does he say Wander Franco is the real deal? All right, here's the final uh, final printout right here. Not just growing up at all, Joe P. I'm the happiest breaker in, in, in the nation. Doing just fine. Chronicles Baseball. Let's pop this open. Best he's ever seen, Wander Franco. Wow.
All right, so it's all 2021 stuff. I guess technically the hit parade says 2022. But let's see what we got here. I think most of the stuff will be 2021, obviously. Yeah, that's what everyone wants, Joe P. There's Yerman Mercedes to 199. Yeah, hold on to that one, Tim. Wander Franco is supposed to be the real deal. I mean, some some already. I would almost already put put him in like top young player category, top ten young player category, top ten players under twenty four. There's Albert Pujols, Dodgers edition for Mike. He's already he's already up there. Points. It'll be winner take all on the points. That's 600. It's a lot, though. Winner take all on the points. We've got Brent Honeywell to 100 for the Rays. And we've got an Evan White. Origins, Jersey and Auto, 34 out of 99. It's a sharp-looking card for the M's. That's going to go to Steve Wright and the Mariners. And then we've got more Origins. It's Estevan Floreal. Piece of the pinstripe, on-card autograph, 54 out of 99 for the Yankees. That'll be for Kevin M. and the Bronx Bombers. We've got a uh, Donneris, clearly Donneris, Mike Trout, and a 5 out of 5, Paven Smith. That's for... Kevin and the Diamondbacks. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. There's a pinnacle out of 50. Jose Devers. And we got a cool looking Red Wave Overdrive card to 199. Ronald Acuna Jr. and Dennis with the World Champs. All right. Good start. Let's go, Contenders Baseball. Nice, Justin. Justin saying, it's great. We used to hold our annual sales meetings in Montgomery and had our award ceremony at the Biscuit Stadium. Does the stadium have like a clever name? Like, what would you call it? Like, like the oven? Where you would make biscuits? Next box. More points. So that's, again, winner take all on the points. We'll add that to that pile there. We'll randomize everybody's name and everyone will have a shot at it. The bakery maybe would be good, Tim. I like that. And remember, these red parallels, they will ship, but they're not numbered. And we got... Contenders autograph, Andre Scrub. 
Scrub? Screw? Frank with the Astros. Oh, I ran out of top loaders. No. Mike, Mike's dog's name is Biscuit. So his Biscuit, like, ears are perking up. It's like, someone, someone's talking about me? Oh, it's just Riverwalk Stadium? Should be, should be the bakery. I like that. And we've got... Ooh, one out of five, Luis Angel Acuna, Ronald's brother. A little bit of a dent in that bottom left corner right there. It's an on-card auto, maybe Luis Angel's large baseball hands. Messed with that card there, you can kind of see, but still nice. One out of five, fame ticket. Autograph. That'll be for the Rangers. Tim and the Rangers. Tim. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Got Brandon Woodruff to 149. And a Jason Dominguez prospect ticket autograph. Nice. And that'll be for Kevin and the Yankees. Kevin M. Couple nice autographs back to back. And Tim, drawing first blood in the trade, gets the Edouard Colina autograph. And we've got a... Drew Res, uh, Rasmussen, I think I got tripped up by that name. Rays, Oliver with the Rays. Oliver drawing first blood in the other trade. Drawing some Rambo first blood. Remember Rambo? And I'll do a quick little recap at the end of the break. Let's go to Donner's Optic, 2021 Donner's Optic. Two autographs to be expected here. Was Rambo First Blood the second movie? I feel like there was some confusing naming in those early Rambo movies. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, who wins in a fight, Rocky or Rambo?
Wow. Frank says Rambo. Justin says Rocky. Tim says Rambo. We got two Rambos and a Rocky. I should I should post a poll. <laughs> Frank says this is true. Frank says Rocky trains to box. Rambo trains to kill. There's Anthony Santander out of 125. How many are you? How many teams are you supposed to? Do you, should you have Hollywood? I think you have three. No, I see you with two. I don't know. I think you can rewind the video. And, and look at the sheet again. But you have two. This rated prospect, Luis Rodriguez. No, you have three. Yeah, that's that's the amount you have, Hollywood. You got three. You have the you have the Mets, you have the Reds, and you have the Giants. But remember, you can. There's a DVR function. You can always go back and look at the team list again. Rated rookie autograph. We're trying to talk Rambo Rocky here, Hollywood. Come on. <laughs> but Frank was saying Rocky trains to box. Rambo trains to kill. That's a very good point. Esteban Floreal going to the Yankees. Kevin M. Nate says Rocky. Joe P says Rocky. Tyler says Rambo. I think I have to post a poll. Pretty important poll, ladies and gentlemen. I had to take time in this break to post this poll. So if you're watching live, there's Trevor Rogers, 249 for Miami. If you're watching live, you can vote. Who wins in hand-to-hand -hand combat, i.e. no weapons, Rocky or Rambo? You can vote in the, uh, in the poll that's pinned in the chat. Oh, obviously, Justin. Chuck Norris obviously would be both at the same time, but we can't, can't add Chuck Norris to the conversation. There's Lance Lynn. Retro series signature. White Sox. It'll be for Jaden. Another couple autographs down. Another box to go, and then we'll see what's in that what's in that hit parade. I should have included uh, Sylvester Stallone in that arm wrestling movie too. Oh well, next poll. All right, so there's Alan Ginter Chrome. Look for Chrome autographs and limited parallels. Or over the top, right? Has there has there been has there been a uh, has there been a arm wrestling movie since? that or is that just like the is that just the end all be all they're like this is the this is over the top is the you know is the movie for the the first and the last arm wrestling movie we'll ever need
Trophy says Demolition Man wins. Wesley Snipes in Demolition Man. I think it was Wesley Snipes. There's, there's also Cliff. Would you, would you throw Cliffhanger Stallone into the, into the Rocky Rambo fight? I feel like Cliffhanger Stallone was just a, was just a mountain climber, right? That got caught up in some sort of, some sort of heist, something like that. Oh, is it Stallone in Demolition Man? Maybe. What's so? What's the, what's the future movie that Wesley Snipes and like Sandra Bullock or something like that? What are what are they in? Getting all my movies mixed up. Thirty three out of fifty. Lucas Giolito. And there's a tanker ship. There's Joe Adele to 150. Jonathan India. Guerrero Jr., 20 out of 50. Oh, it's the same movie? Oh, he's oh, he's the cop in that? I don't remember him as the cop in that movie. Um, oh, so there's non-sports cards here. We'll we'll give those to. Uh, we'll give those to spot two. So the name on top will get all the points. The second spot will get those uh, non-sports cards here in Ginter. Or non not non-sports, but non non-baseball. Jason Biggs to 99. Stand the man. Brian Hayes, Soler. Mark Kana, and that is that. All right, now to the hit parade stuff. Good luck. So when we ran randomize all the names at the end. So they both get, man, when's the last time everyone's seen Demolition Man? Does it hold up? I feel like I watched it a million years ago. So they both get, is Demolition Man also the movie where like Taco Bell had won the food wars and Taco Bell had done a big promo? around that Frank says it absolutely holds up it was on some of the movie channels last year all right maybe maybe I have to maybe I have to rewatch this movie take a take a look back at demolition man same movie yeah okay I wonder if uh, does anyone have the DVD or the Blu-ray? Are there are there like is there like uh is is there like uh what you call it? Like a making of Demolition Man. 
Because I want to know if Taco Bell was their first choice. Because it's like a big sponsorship deal, basically. Right? So, did the, did the original screenplay have Taco Bell? And they did for that? Or did they just say, hey, we need bracket fast food bracket and we want fast food chain. And whoever pays the most, we're in. All right, first one out of the gate, 9510 Ronald Acuna from 2018 Bowman High Tech. This limited edition usually doesn't have a lot of graded cards, so that's pretty nice. 55 out of 75. Centering, edges, corners, a 10. And yeah, these tech surfaces always could be a little rough. Nine. Very nice. Braves. Dennis with Atlanta. Good start. Wow. Frank with the with the, with the deep trivia here. In other countries, they didn't see Taco Bell. They saw other restaurants, maybe Pizza Hut. Huh. I suppose they could interchange it depending on market, right? There is Sal Perez. Triple relic and autograph for the Royals. Nick with Kansas City. 93 out of 299. That's a good looking car. He had a great season last year. It is Pizza Hut? Nice. He looked it up. That's awesome. Yeah, I wonder if they like approached like McDonald's first and they were like, eh. Did like, I wonder if fast food franchises passed or if they just went highest bidder and McDonald's like, we're not paying that much. But that, that was, was that a, was that a hit? It was Gavin Lux. 35 out of 150. Rookie auto for my Dodgers. Mike Joseph, the Dodgers. Did that end up being a blockbuster or was that a bust? And then turn into like a, a, a cult classic. All right, next one is Carlos Correa. 18 out of 25. Tier 1 autograph for Houston. Frank. Hitting me with some good, good, uh, good Demolition Man trivia. And there you go. Joe P. with a little extra info too. Taco Bell is an integral part of Demolition Man's legacy in the U.S., but in European markets... It was replaced by Pizza Hut. So if I go to like, if I go to like England, and I'm hanging out with some people at the pub, you know, you know, at like, you know, the the dog and pony pub at the end of the road, and I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember Demolition Man, and like Taco Bell was in it. It was awesome because Taco Bell won the food wars, and and then everyone would be like, what? What are you talking about? 17 out of 99. There's Frank Thomas. I like that old school hat that Frank Thomas is wearing here. I kind of want that. Nice Frank Thomas for the White Sox. Jaden with Chicago. And I'll be like, no, mate. It was Pizza Hut. And I'll be like, what? Hey, mate, you're wrong. You know, I it was, it was Taco Bell. I'll be like, no, mate. I've got the Blu-ray right here. All right, next is a gold autograph, Nate Pearson. Nice rookie autograph for the hard-throwing Nate Pearson. 38 out of 50, Toronto. Barry Roberts with the Bluebirds. Made 160 worldwide. Huh. Which, yeah, I guess in the 90s, that, that's probably good for the 90s, right? 100 million? Justin's, yeah, they might, people might think it's Mandela effect. It's like, no, no. You thought it was Taco Bell. It's Pizza Hut. And I'm like, I don't think so. Ooh, another graded card? It's a PSA 10 Corbin Burns from 2019 Bowman. Nice. Rookie of the Year favorites. It's a nice looking autograph. Nice orange parallel. PSA 10. Brew Crew. That's going to go to Jeremy Port. Nice. 
Another graded card? This time it's for the O's. From an orange parallel to an orange team. 2018 Bowman, Cedric Mullins, Prospect Auto, Chrome. PSA 9, Baltimore, Anthony with the O's. So Joe Peace, okay, so he saw, I know, I'm going to have to watch that later too. Joe P found on YouTube talk, the Demolition Man scenes with Taco Bell, Demolition Man scenes with Pizza Hut. Then there used to be a Taco Bell Pizza Hut combo. Like you can get, you can get like one, like you can get one, uh, it was at one establishment. 2004 legendary cuts that's Enos Slaughter 139 out of 147 that's a it's a nice hit for Chad and the Pirates All right, and the last one before we run that randomizer is an Alec Baum. 20 out of 70 from Clearly Authentic. Nice autograph in there for the Phillies. Kevin Crouch with the Fightin' Phils. Right, yeah, I figured. So maybe that's why... Yeah, they have the same parent company, right? All right, nice break, ladies and gentlemen. We got another version of this in the store, so if you want to run this back, we definitely can. Let's flip back over here for the points randomizers. Let's gather everybody's names. Oh, but not they're not owned by the same company anymore. All right, so like I said, the name on top will get the points. Second name will get the non-baseball cards out of Ginter. After, six and a two, eight times. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, and did I say, sorry, did I say pirates? And uh, hold on, let me, can't do two things at once here. Eighth and final time, Mike Joseph with the, um, with the points, 600 and 150. Jonathan with the non-baseball cards out of uh, Ginter. And Enos Slaughter is a Cardinal. That's my bad, Chad. I'm sorry. That goes to St. Louis. That'll be for Chris Miller. I don't know why I said Pirates. Why? Did he ever play for the Pirates? Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Maybe I'm thinking of Sergeant Slaughter. No, he never played for the Pirates. I don't know who I'm thinking of then. Some other old school guy. Well, there you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Let's take a quick uh, quick look at what we had. Pretty nice limited edition case here from Hit Parade. We've got another mixer in the store if you want to run this back. We had a solid contenders box too. It's a pretty good break. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Jaspie's 14 box quick hit baseball mixer random team break number one. Uh, the poll, after 26 votes, who wins in hand-to-hand -hand combat, i.e. no weapons? Rocky or Rambo? 58% of the group says Rambo. So there you go. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.